Your video end page is a great place for you to gain subscribers and push people to your next videos. And that's what we talk about today, how to add end screens. Now, the end screen is this wonderful feature at the end of each and every one of your videos where you can highlight your subscribe link and your own suggested videos. These can be playlists, these can be your most commonly viewed video or suggested videos. Now let's say you want to add an end card to a video. Now this one has yet to be published, so I'll use this as an example. I'm going to click edit and then it loads this screen. This is where you're used to, you know, putting in the normal stuff. You have your title, your description, your auto filled in description and your tags. But up here you have end screen and you will be met with this page. Now this rather nicely freezes you in the last 20 odd seconds of your video. Now if your video is smaller than 20 odd seconds then you won't be able to add an end screen so the last 20 seconds is what you can kind of apply annotations to. You can either use a template, these are the pre-made stuff that YouTube suggests to you. These are places you know where you can kind of put two videos, you can put a subscribe button, you can put a specific layout, that kind of thing. These are good if you want to set up your own style if you're not quite sure or in my case I have my own end card so I'll scroll forward to at the point where my, my end card kind of steps in which is there so I've made sure that on the left hand side of my screen that's where my videos are going to go and then I'll add my own little kind of subscribe button. To add them you go to add elements and you add a video you pick either most recent best for viewer or choose from your own selection. Now, most recent, that will automatically feature all of your most recent videos, and that will update itself, no matter how many videos you update since you doing these cards. Best for viewer, what will happen is, is YouTube will suggest one of your videos that is best based on that viewer's previous history. So if they seem to have watched a lot of your podcasts, or this is a podcast, then it might suggest another podcast, or, choose from your own videos. This you can specifically choose any of your own videos or any of your own playlists. Okay? And then that way if you're talking about, I don't know, for example, how to get your first 1000 subscribers and the video suggests how to get your first 100, then you can pick, you know, the video that's how to get your first 100. I suggest just to get started that we used most recent, okay? And then you can kind of pull it around and put it wherever you want. You can also make it as big as you wish, up to a certain reason, so there you go, or as small as you want. And then I also add, in this case, say best for viewer. There is a limit, by the way, you'll notice that there's red marks around the boxes, that means that they can't overlap. And then I suggest a subscribe icon, okay, which once again, as it plonked itself over here, I'm going to drag it to there. Right, and it'll be your own little icon. You can test what these look like by going to preview, which is this thing here. It will play the video, it will show you the animation involved, and then it'll show you how it pops up. So, ta-da! And then when you mouse over it, it shows you what it does. And that's pretty much how you add your own end cards. Click save, and you are done. So that's how you can add end screens to your videos. For more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here and in the description down below. Hit subscribe for two videos each and every week. Hit that notification icon so you're alerted next time I go live. Go out there, start creating.